Hey, call me Louis. This is my spot. Louis spot. What you are about to watch could easily get under some viewers' skin, so here are some important references to keep in mind as they will be useful to understand the context of this whole video. This is Mr. Mohammed Irfan Ali. At just the age of 35, he sits as the current president of Guyana. This is Guyana, a small country found on the northern side of South America. The name originates from the indigenous tribes, referring to the land of many great waters. It is also the home to one of the great scholars Ivan Van Sertema. He mentions it in a small screen when he speaks of hidden African discoveries. Check the video. Guyana was colonized by the British for more than 200 years, which is still very evident as it is the only English-speaking country in South America. There's an extraordinary case last year in the Guyanan courts where the court decided that your own Environmental Protection Agency and Exxon had failed to provide the necessary guarantees that any oil spill would, in the end, be fully paid for in terms of cleanup by Exxon's parent company. We have said, and what we are doing, what are we doing to address these issues? Right now, we are drafting, uh, uh, redrafting environmental laws to take care of this. Soon we'll have in you the... Haven't, you haven't taken care of it, even though the, the drilling is taking place every single day. If there was a massive oil spill tomorrow, can you tell your own people that Guyana, and indeed the rest of the Caribbean, would be fully recompensed by Exxon? What I can say is that there are systems in place in the operational, operations of Manuel, um, uh, operations of Exxon, to take care of this. There are systems in place. Let's take a big picture look at what's going on here. Over the next uh, decade, two decades, it is uh, expected that there will be $150 billion worth of oil and gas extracted off your coast. It's an extraordinary figure. But think of it in practical terms. That means, according to many experts, more than 2 billion tonnes of carbon emissions will come from your seabed, from those reserves, and be released into the atmosphere. I, I don't know if you as a head of state went to the COP Let me in stop Dubai. You right there. Let me stop you right there. Do you know that Guyana has a forest forever that is the size of England and Scotland combined? A forest that stores 19.5 gigatons of carbon? A forest that we have kept alive? A forest that we have kept alive. Does that give you the right? No, does no, no, that no, give no. you I, the that, right that, to release that all of this right? carbon? Does from... that give you the right to, to lecture us on climate change? I am going to lecture you on climate change because we have kept this forest alive that stores 19.5 gigatons of carbon that you enjoy, that the world enjoy, that you don't pay us for, that you don't value, that you don't see a value in, that the people of Ghana has kept alive. Guess what? We have the lowest deforestation rate in the world. And guess what? Even with our greatest exploration of the oil and gas resource we have now, we will still be uh, net zero. Guyana will still be net zero. With all our exploration, we will points. still be net zero. No, no, there's no, no... Powerful, powerful no, no, words, no, no, no. Mr. President. Well, 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 but a, a couple... I, I'm not completed as yet. I am not finished as yet. I am just not finished as yet. Because this is the hypocrisy that exists in the world. We, the world in the last 50 years, has lost 65% of all its biodiversity. We have kept our biodiversity. Are you valuing it? Are you ready to pay for it? When is the developed world going well, to pay for it? Or are you, you in the pockets? You, are you in the pockets of those who have damaged the environment? Are you in the pockets? Are you and your system in the pockets of those who destroyed the environment through the industrial revolution and now lecturing us? Are you in their pockets? Are you paid by them? Are you paid right, to keep right, your Mr. message alive? There is no hypocrisy in our position. The Center for International there, Environmental there Law no has described the oil and gas production in Guyana as turning your country from, as you rightly put it, a carbon sink into a potential, quote, carbon bomb. Now, you may say you have every right that, to exploit that, 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 that is, oil that and gas. That is ridiculous. We, even with our, even with exploring, and, and, and production of all our resources, we are going to still be carbon neutral. We are still going to be carbon neutral. Let me quote to you Greenpeace, who say quite simply, to avoid the worst impacts of climate change, and you know that your own country is one of the most vulnerable to climate change, because most, most of your population lives and, below and, and, sea and, level. And we have paid 
Guess what? Guess what? We have paid for the mitigation. We have paid for the adop uh, adaptation. We are the ones who have to find revenue. So no, 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 no. I want to confirm. I haven't we finished telling you what level. Greenpeace say. Yes, but let me tell you. Greenpeace, Greenpeace say we need to keep the majority of the world's remaining fossil fuels in the ground. Yeah, Greenpeace can say You're that. We're not doing that. Greenpeace and you can say that. But we need to get resources and the developing world, we need to get resources to build the sea defenses. We need to get sea defenses to build a drainage and irrigation system. You just said that we're six feet below sea level. Who is going to pay for the infrastructure? Who is going to pay for the drainage and irrigation? Who is going to pay for the development and advancement of our country? Are you going to pay? It's not coming from anywhere. It's not coming from Greenpeace or anyone else. Look at the adoption budget that is required for the developing world. Where is the money coming from? Isn't there a cynicism here in Georgetown, best expressed by your vice president, who said recently, because there is this climate change imperative to decarbonize, our policy is to get as much oil out of the ground as quickly as possible. Now, he said, that's harsh for those who think that you should be environmentally sound, but that is the reality of it. Those were very honest words from your vice president. And that is what we are, honest. We are practical. So you're rushing, we're, rushing we are to get this oil practical. out before we, any deal is let, done let, to quote you, Dubai COP to transition away from oil and you, gas. You can say we are rushing, but we are very practical. We have this natural resource and we are going to aggressively pursue this natural resource mm. because we have to develop our country. We are committed to the development of this region. We have to create the opportunity for our people because no one is bringing that for us. You, you, no one is bringing that for us. No one is paying our agenda. Now, that sums it up for this video. Did you like or do you hate what you just watched? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. I encourage having a proper discussion on matters like this without having me impose my opinions and ideas on this matter. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That's the only way YouTube can know this video is so much interesting and share it out there to more avid viewers just like you. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you also have not done so and click the notification bell so as to be notified as soon as I make new uploads on videos just like this. My name is Louis. Until next time, peace out.